Welcome to the Heavy Spoilers Show, I'm your host Definition, aka the fastest YouTuber alive, and this episode we're breaking down some big Flash movie news. Director Andy Machete, who you may know from the IT movies, recently confirmed that the film will follow Flashpoint, but not in the way that we expect. Throughout this video we're going to be breaking down the news itself and what it could mean for the film. If you don't want any potential spoilers then now's your time to turn off as we will be talking about the Flashpoint graphic novel in full detail, including its premise and ending. With that out of the way, thanks for clicking the video, now let's get into our breakdown of the Flash news. Okay, so if you've been keeping up to date with the topsy-turvy history of The Flash, then you'll know it's been a very slow production run for a film that's centred around the fastest man alive. That's, that's the best joke I could come up with. Ezra Miller's Flash was introduced in 2017's Justice League, and in my opinion, he was one of the best parts of the movie. Warner Brothers had already announced that he would be getting a solo film, all the way back in 2015, with Lord and Miller working on the script. This got canned, more writers came on board, they left, and so on and so forth. It did look like we may be seeing the movie this year, but after several directors departed the project, it got pushed back to 2021. However, after even more problems, the film got pushed back once more, with it now looking like it's going to be a summer 2022 release. This troubled production schedule was mirrored by the solo Batman movie, with Ben Affleck originally being part of the project, but there being a big recast after things fell apart. All in all, it's been a crazy ride, but during a panel for the Kristen Stewart movie Underwater, Machete dropped that the film will be a different version of Flashpoint than you're expecting. But what exactly is Flashpoint? Well, whether you read the graphic novel, saw the animated movie, or watched the TV show adaptation, when you say Flashpoint, you tend to mean one thing, resetting the universe and streamlining everything under the guise of a time travel story. We all know that DC have had trouble deciding exactly what direction they want to take things in their cinematic universe. They're going ahead with some reboots, whilst also moving forward with part of their original vision, which could lead to some viewers being confused. With there being a big Joker and and Batman recast, the reset will allow them to introduce these elements to characters like Wonder Woman and Aquaman, who've both gone on to have highly successful movies. Flashpoint itself though revolved around Barry Allen travelling back in time to save his mother from being murdered. Though this allowed them to have a relationship together, it also sent a shockwave through time, a sort of butterfly effect that vastly changed the DC Universe as we know it. Bruce Wayne was shot in the alley instead of his parents, and his father went on to become Batman whilst his mother turned into the Joker. Then Mascara and Atlantis went to war with one another, and the planet faced annihilation. Superman was captured by the government upon landing on the planet, and he was kept in a secret military base where he was experimented on. So yep, great job Barry's mum, you ruined everything, you idiot! With the help of Thomas Wayne, Flash was able to get to the core of it all, where he discovered the reverse Flash, who told them exactly how, in saving his mother, he had doomed the Earth. Barry left with little choice, travelled back to where it all started, and let his mother die. In doing this, he created the New 52, a streamlined, reimagined comic book universe that was sort of a soft reboot of the decades of comic book stories that had come before it. Whether you like the New 52 itself or not, none of it would have been possible without Flashpoint, and I believe this will be a way to bring everything together, discard the things that haven't worked, and start the universe on fresh footing. If you checked out my Batman set photos video the other day, then you'll know that we went over some of the hints that this could tie in with the Joker film. There were just a couple of clues, such as the time setting, and so on, that made it seem like these had been put in place to leave the door open. I don't want to just go through that all again, but yeah, definitely make sure you check that video out if you want more information on it. As for the Flash movie itself, it was stated so far back as 2017 that the movie would be a Flashpoint adaptation, but this has kind of been back and forth, with there being no mention of it being a plot aesthetic in 2018 when the movie was taken over by the team behind Game Night. It does seem like we're back on track with Flashpoint though, with these comments by Machete. 
But what does he mean by different? Well, personally, I don't think that they will have the big war and world-ending aesthetic that was such a big part of the comic books. This wasn't really present in the TV show, and I doubt that DC at the moment would want two of their biggest stars to face off in a subplot of someone else's movie. They will likely have a different kind of threat, and this may be the perfect chance to introduce the reverse Flash as the big bad, as in the source material, he was just sort of in the background taunting Barry. Who knows if we will get Jeffrey Dean Morgan as Batman, as he was interested in playing the character, but with the recent depiction of Thomas Wayne and Joker, you, you just don't know what's going to happen. Machete does have a lot of pieces to play with, and these could all lead to an exciting outcome though. I doubt we, I, I really doubt that we will get a female Joker though, because it's been like three different versions of Joker in the past four years or whatever so I think that'll probably get left on the cutting room floor anyway whatever happens Flash is beginning his run get it because he runs uh, never mind what was I saying oh yeah Flash will begin his theatrical run in cinemas worldwide on July 1st 2022 and I'm very excited to see what's going to happen with the DCEU going forward now obviously I'd love to hear your thoughts on the Flash movie and what you want to see in it Comment below and let me know and if you enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up and make sure you check out our full breakdown of the behind the scenes Batman photos which are going to be linked at the end. If you want to come chat to me after the video then make sure you follow me on Twitter at DefinitionYT or head over to my Discord server which will be linked in the description below. We drop videos on there early so if you want to see stuff before anyone else then that's the best place to be. It's free to join and we have an awesome community so hopefully I'll see you over there very soon. We're also giving away a free copy of Joker, which was one of our favourite movies of last year. And all you have to do to be in with a chance of winning is like the video, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave your thoughts on the Flash movie in the comment section below. The winner is going to be chosen at random on the 15th of January and the set will be shipped out from then to whoever gets the prize, so best of luck to everyone who takes part. This is a channel for people who are super into superheroes, so if that's the kind of thing you like, hit subscribe. Thank you for taking the time to watch this. I've been Definition, you've been the best, and I'll see you next time. Take care, peace.